everyone. I am bringing you today's um, Wednesday's deep dive today from um, Clayton Family Massage. And we are going to talk about step throughs. Um, step throughs are super common in, um, I would say, every yoga class I have ever taken, depending, regardless of the studio that I've been taking it with or the teacher that I've been taking with. At some point, you're gonna encounter a step through. And maybe step throughs are super, super easy for you and maybe you hate them. Um, and so we are gonna talk about them and how different ways that we can do them so that you can find something that works for you, works well for your body, and works well for your practice. Um, so we're just gonna talk about different options. Um, there's a lot of information from other accessible yoga teachers that talk about step throughs. So if you feel like um, you need a little bit more information, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I, I can send you uh, some more information from some of my favorite teachers who um, also do this kind of um, work and these deep dives into um, different aspects of yoga. So a step through is basically when we go from downward dog into a runner's lunge or a forward fold. So we're coming from downward dog into um, what some people might call a low lunge. So downward dog, and then we are going to come into you know this position right here. And then from here you can step forward or whatever, it kind of just continues on with the flow. So I will show you to start how um, maybe you can kind of work your alignment a little bit to make this a little bit more accessible, including lifting through the hips. And then we'll just keep on working at it so we can show different kinds of um, ways that you can um, modify this. <laughs> I'm a little tired today. We <laughs> can modify this to make it a little bit more accessible to you. So let's start by coming into downward facing dog and then bringing your right foot up. Bring your right knee to your nose. And by doing that, lifting your hips, drawing your belly button to your spine and then stepping your foot forward, okay? And now you're, when you're in a runner's lunge, you have your knee over your ankle, you can also bring your heel down, or your foot down, and there you go. Now, when does a step through not really work? Um, maybe you are pregnant, maybe you carry all of your weight in your stomach like I do. Maybe you have large chest. Maybe your arms are too short. Maybe your legs are too long. So many different anatomical um, parts of, so there are so many anatomical differences that could make step throughs just really, really uncomfortable and really, really complicated. I personally don't like them. I've always hated them and probably nothing will change that. So this is how I make it a little bit better. So I use blocks when I can. Putting my hands on blocks, this lifts up my arms a little bit. It creates a lot more space here for me to move. So I can lift my foot up, drawing my belly button in, stepping my foot forward, and it makes it a little bit easier. Now I still need to adjust a little bit. My foot doesn't get there smoothly, and that's okay. And now I'm here in brother's lunge. My hands are supported on the blocks. Now, other ways that you can do that, I'm gonna switch so that I'm not doing everything on one side. You can, from runner's lunge, inhale your foot up, open up your hip, and then really using, um, the rotation of your hips. Bring your foot out to the outside of your left hand. So now you're kind of a lizard, and then you can just, you can stay here if you want, or you can heel toe your foot in. <clears throat> you can do also from Downward facing dog, you can come down to your knees, bring 
bring your foot in front, walk your foot in, and then lift up your knee. So those are some different ways that you can step through. And now, say you've tried all of them, you still absolutely feel uncomfortable in your body, you find them frustrating, and you're just like, I hate step throughs and I don't want to do these anymore. Well, you know what? You don't have to. Another thing you can do, from downward dog, you're like, nope, I ain't doing step throughs. F this. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Then you can lift coming to the back of your mat and then stepping forward. There you go, no step through. So when you're doing something a little bit different and you're trying a new variation for your particular body, you may find that you are doing it differently from the other people in class and that's okay. You might be doing it different from the teacher and that's okay. If a teacher makes you feel like that's not okay, that's not a teacher for you. So don't go back to that class, and I don't feel bad saying that. So maybe you're doing something a little bit different. Maybe you're not following the same breath counts. Maybe you're just kind of like a little bit behind or a little bit ahead of the rest of the class. That's okay, it's your practice, it's your mat, and nobody should be paying attention to what's happening kind of with everybody else and making judgments if you are in a class that feels comfortable and feels like a non-judgmental space. If you feel judgment because you're doing something a little bit differently so that you can make it more accessible for your body, then you need to tell the teacher, you need to tell the studio owner, or you just need to find some place that is going to be a little, that's going to be more accepting. So I hope um, this is a little bit helpful. If you'd like more information, if you'd like to really talk through it, reach out to me and we can kind of work on it like one-on-one. -on -one. This is um, kind of a hard platform to sort of give some broad information without interacting with anybody but me and my iPad. And I really like to talk to people. So, um, you know, reach out to me. We'll make something work. We can try something over Zoom. Um, whatever, you know, whatever it is, um, I can offer a little bit more customized advice. So, but there you go, in a very quick-ish few minutes, we were able to kind of go over a few different uh, step throughs. Now, when I do my classes, it's a little bit hard to kind of guide for everybody who may or may not watch be watching these videos, but know that if you're taking, if you're watching my video or you're taking a class from me, you can do any of those options at any time, regardless if I call it out or not. So I hope they help. Again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out, um, openarmsyogaNC at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram at hikingyogamama. I have a Facebook page now, kind of reluctantly, so you can find me there. So I've got plenty of places where you can reach out. No excuses. Thanks, everybody. I will see you next week.